from now on, every time I do a video like this, I'm going to do a flash sale on a product. So this time it is going to be your A-level maths course, 10% off the course, which if you combine it with 10% off from the ambassadors, then you can get 20% off the course, making a year's access to my A-level maths course for £20, which is so cheap, so much less than you would find a private tutor for. you have settled into your course by now hopefully you're starting to work out where you fit in and hopefully the work is starting to feel manageable and not massively overwhelming for you now because I bet your teachers are looking stressed I bet the year 13s and the year 11s are looking stressed the the risk of cancelled exams of calculated grades being needed of mock grades being used as um, the results is still looming large over everybody and I don't think until the exams actually take place that that is going to change they could still be cancelled right at the last minute which means your teachers are very very stressed and they're probably inadvertently passing that stress on to you and talking to you more about mocks talking to you more about keeping up with your studies now I'm going to try and put a positive spin on this whole pandemic, school closures, exam being cancelled thing because somebody has to. You guys are probably going to believe me when I say start revising for your exams now that every single test counts, that every single mock counts because um, they might cancel exams and use calculated grades again. Um, because I bet by the time that exams are cancelled for your GCSEs, you haven't actually started revising. And some of your mock grades are a bit, ooh, not overly happy with those. And some of you were disappointed by the grades that you got based on your performance in class. So it is vitally important that if there is something you don't understand, that you talk to your teachers about it. That you use the checklist, either the ones that I've made or the ones in the beginning of your revision guide, the contents page to make sure you're keeping up with everything to make sure that if there was a topic or a lesson you missed you caught it up or if there was a lesson where your head wasn't in it and you just didn't understand it that you've done some extra questions on those and you've caught it up your I am giving you a task for half term and it is not a revision task it is a getting yourself sorted task so i'm talking about making a timetable for revision now i know lots of you are going to say this doesn't work but it is so important that you make time to do your additional study and you make time for everything that is important to you so if something is important then it is important it doesn't matter if your friends have different priorities. It doesn't matter if your parents don't necessarily think that the thing that is important to you is actually important. If it is important to you, then it is important and we need to make time for it. So if your life revolves around what happens in Hollyoaks and you cannot miss an episode, then you need to make sure that goes on your timetable. The same with football or guides or church or whatever it is that is vitally important to you, you need to make sure that it is timetabled and there is time made specifically in the day for it. Doing this is really important for looking after your mental health. So is making a timetable. I know that's a little bit of a stretch, but if we start revising now, by the time we get through to the exams in 2021, 2022, um, you'll be in a much better place. So this half term, please get a timetable sorted, get a clear study space sorted, get your folders organised, because for A-levels, I bet you don't have books anymore and you're just writing on bits of paper, which stay in the bottom of your bag, and then when you come to do some really complicated calculation or set of drawing, you'll go through your bag and it'll be screwed up at the bottom bag and your bottle would have leaked and an apple would have gone mouldy and you've lost those notes. So make sure you get your folders sorted. For every hour you have a contact time with your teacher, you should be doing another hour's worth of work. Now that can include homework, it can include making notes, it can include writing your notes up in neat 
adding examples from the textbook, adding examples from the video, so you've got a really comprehensive set of notes. Or it could be going back and looking at a set of notes you made last week and then using those to answer exam style questions or the multiple choice questions over on my website. As long as you are actually putting that time in. And this is another reason making a timetable is important. The tendency is to spend time doing stuff that we like. So if you spend all of your time making beautiful, beautiful Instagram worthy notes for history, but actually you're not doing too much of your English literature, well that's going to be a problem down the line. Because each A level is as important as the other ones. It's not like GCSEs where you're taking so many, if you didn't get the grade in German, it's not really going to matter. Here you're taking a limited number of subjects and they're all important. Important. Now I'll bet some of your schools, some of your teachers have started talking about AS exams and that some of you are going to be entered into real actual exams at the end of this year. I know this seems like a lot of extra effort but it is actually a really good idea because what they did in Wales, instead of giving everyone calculated grades, they just gave everyone that AS grades. They were actual exams that did count towards the overall grades. So in Wales, people still sat exams in the kind of like system that we abandoned a few years ago, but it actually worked really well for them this year. You will also then have something definite to put on your UCAS application forms. So if teachers are talking about AS grades, please do not worry because I think this is actually a really good idea. And if your schools are not talking about you sitting AS exams, then it's something that is worth bringing up. And then the schools may say that they can't afford to pay for it, which is probably very, very true. But you can then ask your school to enter you as a private candidate. It will cost, but combining or weighing the cost of entering up exams as a private candidate in your school, combined or compared to the, the stress if your year 13 A levels get cancelled and they have used mock results or calculated grades again, that is something that some people might actually consider worth spending money on. So this half term, I do not want you to do loads and loads of revision, I want you to keep up with your work, I want you to get back on track with your work, but the most important thing is sorting out your studying. So getting your folders organised, getting your study space organised, getting your timetable organised to make sure that you are ready for things. If you want to do a little bit of revision, then it is just sensual things, like making sure you've got all your recalls sorted, making sure you've got your notes sorted from lessons that you've missed, and then doing a few extra questions. It is not the time in the course to be sitting down and doing loads and loads of work. Um, so good luck guys, um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, um, you've probably noticed there are loads of A-level videos coming out for me now, we're going to be covering the whole course for lots and lots of different subjects, um, yep, I'm going to be here with you all the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.